Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Shelly's Everyday Prepping Adventures. Happy Easter to those of you who celebrate this day. Um, we are on a little trip to visit uh, relatives. We're in Pikeville, Kentucky for the weekend, headed home tomorrow. I, um, as always, you know, I am in prepper mode. Um, my mind is always thinking prep, prep, prep. Um, what can I do to prepare? Uh, even though I'm not home, what can I do? Because uh, I do one thing every single day, every single day. So my first thought was, I'll go and check out the Walmarts and see what they look like around here. They assured me that, the relatives assured me that they didn't see any real shortages, that everything was fine here. So I was just curious and I wanted to see what they were talking about. So... I took a little walk around their Walmart and I found that um, baby formula is low. Some brands are completely gone. Um, so that's one thing that is consistent with at our place up home in Maryland. But they didn't have any restrictions on or, you know, on how many you could buy. So I, that's one thing. And then I, I decided, well, I'm going to walk through the rest of the store and just out of curiosity, see what's going on. So I checked out the chicken. Um, the chicken was low. It was maybe a third full, the chicken refrigerator area. Um, maybe a third, maybe not quite that much. They had chicken drumsticks and they had some wings. Um, the beef was pretty well stocked, but it was a little more expensive than, you know, than it has been. Everything's going up naturally. So I went through the canned meat section and I did find... Um, chicken um they had the keystone the keystone um chicken and they had the keystone beef um it was 28 ounce can for i think it was 897 a can um which everybody i've never had the keystone and everybody says it's really good i did not pick it up i probably should have gotten a can of it just to see what it was like but i didn't um the tuna uh was very low uh some brands were non-existent um, so that was low. Um, some of the cookies in the cookie aisle were low. The, um, crackers. Now it's really funny at, at home, um, up in Maryland, the crackers are, there's barely any crackers at all on the shelves. Um, but down here, the crackers were, there was pretty good amount of saltines. Um, it was the other kind of crackers, like the Ritz and different things. They were a little lower than I would have expected. Um, I went through the pasta aisle. The pasta aisle was probably about a third of the way full, which is way more than it is at my uh, my Walmart in Maryland. Uh, my Walmart in Maryland has nothing but elbows, if you're lucky. Nothing else is there. But this one had rigatoni and a few other things um, available. Um, certain sodas were not available. Uh, I like to get the small cans of Dr. Pepper. I try not to overdo how much I drink of sodas, so I... Um, I do get the smaller cans and I try to only drink one of them a day. So I've stocked up on them for a time when I can't find it, of course. Um, but anyway, so that's what I found at their local Walmart. Um, there were a few other things that were hit and missed. The spices looked picked over. Just a few different things. I mean, what you would expect this time, you know, this time of um, in our lives with all this stuff going on. And then... Um, as everybody probably already knows, we can talk about Georgia. Georgia is in a state of emergency due to the food supply chain. Um, I'm not sure what it's going to take to get some people to wake up and understand what is going on. But I have never in my life, in my 55 years, have I ever heard of a state having a state of emergency over food. Ever. This is the United States. Really? I, I think about it. Have you ever if that doesn't tell you something, it should. It should tell you something. Now, I don't know if any other states have done it, um, but still, it's uh, it's a big deal, a very big deal. And I hope that everyone is listening. I hope everyone is preparing and learning, you know, trying. If they're not buying one can of something, that they are, they're doing one thing every day to learn a skill or something that they can use. I think, you know, I learned to sew during the pandemic because 
I sat at home all day and I, I needed something to do. Now, I'm not the best, but I can do it. I can patch things. I can do a hem. You may have to do that stuff. We may have to take better care of our clothes because we may not be able to afford um, more. But anyway, back to Walmart real quick. I did pick up a couple things to take home with me. A couple of um, boxes of the Great Value uh, Hamburger Helper stuff. They don't have any great value up in my store, so I picked up a couple boxes of that just to bring home with me. Um, so I did do that yesterday. I may pick up a little bit of something here today. I want to go to another grocery store maybe today and see what that's like. They have a, um, I want to say it's a food saver here. Um, so we'll see. I will let you guys know how it goes. And thank you so much for um, listening. Please come back. This is Shelly's Everyday Prepping Adventures. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video. Thank you. Happy Easter.